So this week we're in the Wallbot headquarters. We're going to track down the dev team and get answers to your questions. Jonathan, ready for a question? Always no. Okay, so we got asked by Jesse Brockman. He said the following. I don't understand. I hear that Wallbot can see through objects. It can detect motion. It can even measure breathing rate. How is any of this connected? What is going on? Okay. Excellent question, Jess. So what goes on basically is each one of these antennas take turns and sends out a pulse. Okay, it sends it out through space and that pulse goes through walls, it reaches different targets. So it hits you or it hits you and your friend or a wooden stud in the wall. Each one of those targets is sending out an echo which is reflected and then received on all other antennas. Now when that happens, what we can then basically do is A, know where that target, where you and your friend are located, and B, track these targets as they move around or even breathe throughout space. And that is all neatly wrapped up in this cool guy. So this one's in from Jonathan Smith. He asks the following. People often text and drive at the same time, and they aren't looking at the road and it causes rear-end collisions. Can you use Wallbot's motion detection capabilities to alert yourself to this and avoid accidents? Well, you could use the Wallbot API to create a program that detects the distance between you and the cars in front of you and gives you an alarm when the distance is too short. Since we're using electromagnetic waves, we can do it in various lighting conditions, including darkness, storm, fog, we simply don't care. And you could develop this program on various environments, including Java, .NET, and even native C++ if you feel like it. So basically, yeah, you could do it. Nice, but don't text and drive. 